But in this, in this video, what I'm doing is I'm using Drone Deploy's uh, mobile app. And so uh, Mo Drone Deploy gives you this free mobile app for use. And, and by all means, log into Drone Deploy and they have like a 30 day free trial or something like that. You know, I, I, I used it, so go ahead and, and do that. But even most of my experience is, is done in, um, in Pix4D. So I've probably been using Pix4D for a year. And even when I was using Pix4D, I used Drone Deploy's app. It was just really easy. So we're going to be flying a drone. This is a Phantom 4. And we're going to be flying uh, using this app. So if you're not familiar with this, basically what happens is instead of using the, the stock app that comes with your drone, we'll be using the Drone Deploy app and it flies your drone. So you, you can either program your map grid on the phone directly or you can program it in on a, through a browser and then it uploads that map grid to your drone and then when you hit the go button it flies the waypoints and takes pictures and at the end you have a batch of pictures. So it's not really important which program you use to fly your drone. At the end you're going to have a batch of pictures and no matter what software you're using um, you just take that batch of pictures and process it. So in our case we'll be using Open Drone Map to process our image batches. So since I'm running this on Android, it likes to have a default app. And I avoid setting the default app, so I'm going to select Drone Deploy in just once. So if you've never used a mapping piloting app, you don't need to use your controller at all. Your controller is going to need to be set, you know, depending on what model you have. But this is a Phantom 4, and I have this little switch setting in the P, which is normally what you fly in. And so now you can see I've got the Valencia ODM batch that we made on the computer. So I'm going to pull that up, and it's showing I'm ready to fly. Now it's got some strange aberration with the screen there. I'm not sure if that's going to affect me or not. So let's try flying the path and see what happens. So it's uploading the data from the flight that I programmed to the drone. So the drone has the waypoints programmed in ahead of time. And it's telling me I'm ready to fly. So first it'll ascend to 250 feet, roughly, where we set our altitude, and then it will fly the mission. So there it goes off to its first waypoint. And on my screen here in the top right corner, I can see a small picture of what it sees. And so there it's achieved its first waypoint. And I have seen it pause there and just sort of get its bearings for a while. Sometimes it just goes right in, and other times I've seen it pause for up to 10 seconds or something. So this video is for the purpose of um, showing you how to use Open Drone Map, but it, it works in general for flying a drone or anything else. And 
Open Drone Map is made for processing drone imaging, but it works with 3D scanning as well. I have another video you can take a look at where I scanned a rock and I just scanned it with a cell phone, just freehand, and it turned out really well. So the difference between drone mapping and 3D scanning is only that the drone puts a geo-tagged data on each photo that Open Drone Map will then use to position uh, relative to Earth. Okay, that's its final waypoint. Now it's going to return to the home point and descend. So this is all done autonomously. I don't have to touch the controllers. Typically what I do is once it starts coming down, um, I'll keep the controls handy because any input I give it, it will, it will go to the drone and it can adjust its, what it's doing. Or I could just take control and then once I let go, it would proceed with, with its... Uh, current plan but what I do is I'm gonna hold my hand on the throttle to slow its descent and then just catch it with my hand just to keep it out of the dust <laughs> 